insurers were sitting here, they're going to find ways that over-constrict. It's the way the pendulum works. And I'm most concerned about the effect of over-constriction on poor countries, and developing countries. And in the area of trade finance, something that Lamy and I have talked about, part of the problem is they, they put in capital requirements, and they don't have very good evidence, but frankly, the evidence we have is that it's a pretty short-term loan, and it's a pretty, it's, it tends to get repaid. So um, my first start is with the developed work. Um, but secondly, um, again, I wouldn't focus just so much on the central bankers. There's a huge opportunity in sub-Saharan Africa to remove border barriers, to create more integrated markets. So you're from East Africa. So you know, I visited a border, one-stop border place that we uh, helped open up. I think it was actually Kenya and Uganda. Um, and it was, it gone from two days for, for goods transporting to two hours. And this doesn't require huge sums of money. We now have the systems. We work with some private sector firms to, to develop the software in this. And it, it means sort of systematizing the process. Then if we can combine that with infrastructure development, so you know whether it's roads or railroads or ports or electricity to be able to strengthen it. So you're right, at least I think you're right, by saying that sub-regional integration and I, I would focus on subregions, East Africa, West Africa, Southern Africa, Central Africa, is the way to really start to drive a potential for growth. And I just keep coming back to this because when I you know, read most of the press accounts of these meetings, everything's focusing on the macroeconomic, fiscal, monetary. Fine, I'm not denying that. But you're, you're not going to ever deal with these problems unless you create sources of growth. And there are sources of growth in Africa, and I see it with private sector firms being interested in it, but Africans have to create the right enabling environment. Very good. Thank you very much.